Welcome students. In this video, I'm going to show you a trick with which you can identify whether the given number can be a perfect cube or not. So now students, the basic and the most traditional way of finding whether the given number is a cube or not is by finding its factors. Meaning, let's take for example, if we have a number which says 125 and if I want to remove its factors, then we just start dividing it with the smallest prime number. So as we know that the last digit over here is 5, it will go in 5 stable. So we divide it by 5. My quotient I get is 5 2s are 10. The 10 gone out of 12 gets us 2 and 5 5s are 25. And we already know that 5 and 5 gives us 25. So over here, the factors for 125 is 5 into 5 into 5 and since we want to check whether the given number can be a perfect cube or not we will club all of these factors in a batch of 3 okay but this is a very small number in case if you have been given a bigger number then how will you find out whether the number can be a perfect cube or not so now students for that the trick is to find the digital sum now, what do you mean by digital sum? Meaning, you will be adding all the digits in the given number. So now students, if the digital sum of your number comes as 0, 1, 8 or 9. Okay. Only then we can say that the number can be a perfect cube. So let us take for example... 17576 So now students over here my digital sum is 1 plus 7 is 8 8 plus 5 is 13 13 plus 7 is 20 and 20 plus 6 is 26 So when I add the digital sum which I get is 26 and when I add these two numbers my digital sum comes as 8 so now students, I can say that the given number can be, can be a perfect cube. Students, I want you all to please pay attention to the term can be, meaning that this trick does not necessarily say that all the numbers whose digital sum come across as 0, 1, 8 or 9, all of them become a perfect cube. But this trick will help us to identify whether the number can be a perfect cube or not. So in case if you have a number whose digital sum is not 0, 1, 8 or 9, then you can straight away cancel that number as being an imperfect cube. Okay. But over here also, you will have to check whether this number is giving me a perfect cube or not. For that, you will have to use the method of factorization so now students I will show you certain numbers whose digital sum lie in any of these numbers but it will not be a perfect cube so let us take for example 72 the addition of 7 and 2 gets us what 9 but we all know that 72 is not a perfect cube I know all, a lot of books have given this trick as the trick to check whether the given number is a perfect cube or not. But as I showed you that not all the numbers whose digital sum is either 0, 1, 8 or 9 will be a perfect cube or not. So students to check whether the given number is a perfect cube or not you will have to use this method only. But this trick will help us to eliminate those numbers whose digital sum do not fall into any of these numbers students i would like to thank all of you all for all your likes and subscribes to my channel if you like this video then you can please like and share this to your friends and people whom you think it will be beneficial to thank you so much